Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play more of our The Kingdom of Jerusalem campaign. King, King of Jerusalem. Um, so, I've been looking around and just trying to like analyze the situation here, and it seems to me like the longer the war goes on, the better things are for me. It's going to hurt them more than it's going to hurt me. We're losing... We're, we're picking up a lot of war exhaustion every month right now. Um, and it's going to hurt me a lot diplomatically. Like, my diplomatic... I'm going to have to spend a lot of points on diplomatic... Um, buying down war exhaustion, but they are bigger than we are, and they are taking out lots of loans, and that's good. Score comparison, I actually had to go all the way, I had to search by name to find them in here, because they, they only have 0.34 admin rating, they have 5 loans, um, all these occupations are really tanking their admin score, and their loans are way bigger than ours, so they are probably at this point hundreds if not even thousands of ducats in debt. Um, so we'll see. That siege should begin very soon. Next month, it looks like. Ah, it's going to be two months. Yeah, I've got to replace these troops with uh, non-mercenary armies. Mercenaries are too expensive. If Venice loses their enthusiasm and they drop out of the war, it's going to change things pretty significantly. Length of war is going to start ticking down into the negatives soon. Alright, so after one more recovery tick, you should finally be able to do it. You're gaining 50 troops, but losing one. So you gain 40 troops a month. And there we go. Finally have the Siege of Ankara started. And our guy is done. Fortunately, we're able to transport troops back and forth very quickly, since we occupy both sides. Should have gone with the uh, regular troops from the beginning instead of trying to train hire those mercenaries. I ended up doing way too many mercenaries. Just thought I needed them quickly. Turns out I didn't. Also, I noticed there's some really squirrely math going on right now. Um, notice that says Constantinople Development 34 is blockaded to 100%. And then when you look at it, it shows them at 70% blockaded. But when you click on this six ships, it says we only can blockade 16. How on earth does 16, which is 48% of 34, end up being 100% blockaded? Doesn't make sense. It shouldn't be blockading it. And yet it is. That's paradox math for you. Alright, we're going to sub in our own guy and just going to risk the chance that we might have a, uh, a what's it called? Uh, natural one. A disease. I'm going to pull that mercenary off because they, they cost too much. This guy is 0.5 ducats a month. He costs twice as much as a heavy ship. Just can't afford that right now. Actually, I think a heavy ship's about 0.5 ducats as well. Never mind. He costs as much as a heavy. Whereas a regular infantry only costs 0.2. So that should save us a tiny bit of money. Really, this is considered enemy territory, even though it's occupied? Alright. Whatever you say, game. I'm gonna trust your judgment. Our loans are much bigger than they were at the start of the game now.
Also, there's a chance that uh, there's going to be a a fairly sizable peasant Ottoman Ottoman peasant uprising soon because my my war exhaustion is affecting the unrest in these provinces. I don't want the uh, I don't want the peasants to occupy this land. There's no separatists. If it was like nationalist rebels, I'd probably just let them fire and let them enforce demands. But I'd prefer for them to not spawn. So we're going to buy down war exhaustion right now a bit to try to prevent it. Even though we're spending just stupid amounts of monarch points on it. Don't really want peasants to spawn. I can't kill them. And if they spawn, I won't be able to take the land back. They'll be too strong for me. And I kind of need the land occupied so that I can potentially make a little bit of money off of it. Of course we rolled a disease outbreak. Of course we did. Cruelty of mercenaries. Well, we're trying to get rid of them. So I could raise unrest in like every single province that I own right now. For... Three years. Whatever, we'll just raise the cost of them. I'm getting rid of them right now anyway. Venice has accepted peace with the Ottomans. They will end their... They surrendered. Oh my gosh. They released Naxos. Which black flagged that army. Corfu is still a vassal underneath Venice. My navy is probably not capable of fighting the Ottomans. Black flagged. I think he can do whatever he wants now. So despite all of this occupation, I have horrible war score. Can you cross, or are you are you stuck? Thanks, Venice, for piecing out, you chicken. And Naxos has announced us as a rival. Well, in that case, uh, we'll fabricate a claim on you as well. Put our mercantilism back a bit. Are you just never going to recover? What's going on here? Did you did you roll another damn disease outbreak or something? Like, what is going on? No, you couldn't have rolled another disease outbreak because you haven't... Uh... Ugh, it just takes them so long to recover. Well, the Ottomans doesn't seem to think that they can beat my, uh... My navy. They're not actually bringing their navy out. Probably because it's mostly transports. Yeah, they don't, they don't have very much. They don't want to get rid of their transports because they're afraid of... That they, they have issues crossing and stuff right now. And this black flagged army is apparently stuck. So let's bring one of our galleys to here. We'll keep the straight blockaded. I can't believe you pieced out, Venice. See, we're, we're winning. You don't understand. You don't even understand that we're winning the war. You might not feel like it all the time, but we are winning right now. I don't think I'm going to be able to get them to the point, though, where they have to disband their entire army. Which means that I'm never going to be able to occupy any of this. Which means I'm never going to be able to get the war goal back, and it also means I'm never going to be able to get the 25 war score from battles back. Yeah, no, I'm not going to surrender to you. Go to hell. Alright, I'm just going to... We're going to keep one extra troop. I'm trying to... Switch over to non-mercenaries so that we can actually have some money. But at the same time, that stupid disease outbreak cost me like six months, which is a lot of war exhaustion. Wish I could get control of their capital. At least they don't have control of my capital. Got that going for us.
So Epirus and Naxos. So if we were to attack Naxos right now, we have naval superiority, we could just take that province. That would actually work out quite well. We just need uh, one regiment. No, three regiments. This is a weird, weird campaign. Weird start. But isn't that the idea with achievements like this? Aren't they supposed to be weird? Over the force limit temporarily because of what I did. It's just going to cost us until we can get this guy disbanded. The Marine Separatists are about to spawn, which will help to cause a little bit of war exhaustion for the Ottomans and also cost them a little bit of money and reinforcement and just, you know, lower their manpower in general. Which is good. We support this. One last mercenary to get rid of. Oh, what a slow siege. How long has this siege been going? 470 days. Catholic Greek. Oh, I want this land. I want it so bad. We don't have the uh, don't have the claim on it yet. Got a claim on Epirus. We don't have a claim on Genoa either. Might as well get one. You never know when that's going to be useful. Poland has entered into an alliance with Venice. What about me, Poland? You ally Poland. You ally Venice, but not me. That's not fair. Uh, no Ottomans. I'm winning. I know it doesn't look like it with my 60 negative 60% war score, but I'm winning. No, really, I am. Can we actually get 100% blockade? No, Constantinople is blockaded to 21%. See, now with one ship and only two development ability, how much you want to bet? 22 divided by 13. It's 15%. No. Hmm. I don't know how this math is working, but I know it's wrong. Let me guess. Yeah, of course. Another disease. I'm, I'm an expert. I mean, I could roll 20 disease outbreaks before I get one breached wall. I'm an expert at it. So, with 8, I'm able to blockade to 65%. 8 divided by 13 62% I don't I think it's just, I think it's just factoring in like base tax or something instead of factoring in the whole development amount whatever it is Wiz, it's wrong and it needs to be fixed blockades are being more powerful than they're supposed to right now I don't have any other modifiers I mean I have navy tradition maybe that's what it is I bet okay here's the math ready we can blockade a de total development of 8, but it's actually 8 times 1.064 equals 8.5. And then 8.5 divided by 13 is 65.5%. And so we're blockading 65%. Yep. It's taking, it's using, it's not rounding to the nearest development. It's taking your Navy tradition and then it's comparing it against the, develop, the uh, base tax instead of the total development. Which is what it used to do back before they made the changes to development, before common sense. 
So yes, you heard it here. You heard it here first, folks. Two or three months ago, when Common Sense came out, they never even considered the fact that uh, you know maybe when they added in development, it should factor in development instead of factoring in uh, just base tax. Silly, silly, silly. Easy to overlook, I suppose. And unfortunately, now Nexus has an army. I have four cogs. I could land four troops. We can blockade. We could land an Eboi across the strait. They have no leader. We could do it. We could do it. Take the army from here. Take that one province. Meanwhile, I'm picking up, you know, 0.26 attrition per month, of course, but... God, this siege. Okay, refusing it would cause great turmoil in our country. That's what I was worried about. I don't care. You suck. 60. Negative 69 war score. I can't believe that, that with this ridiculous strength that I have over them, all of this occupation versus like two provinces of occupation. This stupid freaking siege taking forever. Come on. Why do they have increased defensive already like where the hell did that come from is that like some stupid country modifier event that they got random pulse event they don't have they don't even have ideas yet just randomly picked up 20 percent bonus defense sucks hmm well at least they're not sending a stab hitting peace offer every single month damn lucky nation I actually want those rebels to spawn. And of course, of course, we roll. Ah, fucking disease outbreak. The stupidest thing. I mean, I can't roll a fourteen to save my life. I could get, I could get a one every time. Hmm. Well, things are not going that great. I mean, I'm purposely keeping stability low to try to force the Marine Separatists to fire right now. So at the very least, the Ottomans will take care of it. Uh, this is probably going to be another stability hitting peace offer. Of course it is. They want me to do what? See Maria and Akia. No. And an Altreides with, with them. It's so ridiculous. It's ridiculous that the Mamluks were so stupid that they waited a year and a half to actually siege down the Ottomans. It's stupid that they pieced out for the release of a one province miner and some money. When it's, this is their like this is their historical rival for the entire damn game. And they're like, yeah, we think that's reasonable. It's stupid that Venice pieced out when we were obviously winning. Or would win. Here comes another one. And these goddamn Marine Separatists won't spawn to save my life. Not that it is a good thing, it's just like, they might as well. No. <laughs> Let's just see what happens with this damn piece, this siege here. It won't, it won't succeed. Never. Couldn't possibly. 900 day siege. Great. Awesome. Good job. 20 goddamn disease outbreaks.
I can't believe after all this I'm going to lose. Once concessions are within gold, they want me to know my treaties with Venice. What? What the hell, dude? There's nothing else that can be given, and you won't accept it. And then if I offer gold... Like, what are you asking for? Oh, war reparations. You don't want war reparations, you dumbass! God. Oh, and it still causes... <laughs> Of course it does. A bloody freaking course. And hey, there's some peasants right on cue. And now we get to fight them. Well, this hasn't gone well. Um, I, it did not end up going well. I thought it would go a lot better than that. It's okay. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. The Ottomans are weaker than they would have been. So there's still hope this campaign. It's just that things got a little dicey there. Uh, we need to counter rival um, these two. We need to take advantage of this. We lost Maria, but we have a core on it. So that's fine. I have really crappy stability now because I'm stubborn. Oh, I can't even ask for military access? Great. Well, I imagine if we declare war on you, that you'll ask for access from somebody. We can use that access to land troops and cross the street. So... So, we're gonna do it. We gotta take this land. Go ahead. Ask for some access. Actually, yeah, we could probably black flag to march in there. Well, no. No, that won't work. We're not going to become unoccupied or unblack flagged over there. This is going to give him a chance to train more troops. Could you please ask for military access from somebody? I don't want to have to land my troops with a naval landing penalty. It looks like we might have to. So we had three provinces at one point. Now we have 345 ducats in debt. I can't ask for access from Venice. Ottomans won't give me access. He won't ask for access. And while we're black flagged, coming here won't do anything. I mean, I do have four transports. I could land four men. It's four on three. Maybe we can win. I don't have any money, so I can't really just, can't can't justify training another troop or another thing. Oh God, we're over the naval force or the land force limit right now. Part of the reason why we're losing so much money. Ugh. After all that, losing that land—that's painful. Okay. Well, um, it's not showing as if they're black flag, but I assume they are. Alright, just try it. Alright, I'm gonna take a break here, though. Ugh, stubborn. Uh, annoying. Alright, I'm gonna take a break. I'll see you again in a little bit. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.